I recently went on vacation to Yellowstone National Park. And do you know what they had there? Thermal features. That's right. We're talking geysers, paint pots, heated pools, and we're talking steam vents. For today's installment of Handicraft Corner, I thought it would be a great idea to try out geysers and thermal features in Minecraft. I prepared an array of thermal features to try out and showcase today. Uh, I made this one right here. It is a simple fountain with a little geyser feature in the middle. You just take some redstone and you get the comparator to repeatedly fire this dispenser here. And you get it to bubble up. Not bad, but we can do better. Blah. So over here, I have a little hot spring. Got gravel. Put some uh, campfires underneath the gravel to get the smoke to come out. Kind of looks like steam. It sounds nice. It's kind of tranquil. So you have this little thermal feature here, but it's kind of generic, not much uh, going on here other than the particles. So if you want some variety, let's go to the next design. So this one, I took some stairs, slabs, and some dead coral. I still got the campfires making the nice thermal smoke going on there, but uh, I also put a dispenser with some fireworks underneath this cobblestone slab. So if we wanted this to become a geyser and do an eruption, Not bad. Not bad at all. That's pretty good. But do you know what this one is missing? Even with all the texture variants, the guys are going off and all that good stuff, there's no bacterial mat. When I was in Yellowstone, almost every single geyser was surrounded by a bacterial mat. A very wide range of colors flowing from the geyser and going off into the reach of the landscape. It was super beautiful. And that's what I got over here. It has a lot of features that can normally be found in geyser basins like Yellowstone. We got the beautiful colors of the bacterial mat with some wet sponges. We got some moss, raw copper and raw iron blocks, some raw gold for variety, but the sea pickles there for some, some more organic growth. I have a layered pool system going on here. So we have, we have our hot spring here on top with a geyser feature, of course, right there. Um, and then it layers down into multiple pools and multiple bacteria mats. So this one is pouring out of the top on this side, and it's even going around and heating up some of the river next to it. So we walk around the bacterial mat, which you're not supposed to do. Do not walk on real-life bacterial mats. It disturbs the landscape. Thank you very much. Again, I used the cobblestone, some mossy cobblestone, and I added some carpets this time. So you got lots of variation in the natural landscape here. Of course, we got the thermal smoke coming up. But what I also added was instead of water, I used layers of transparent glass in multiple shades and colors to make it appear like an endless pit going down into the earth itself. So this is what a lot of the heated pools I saw looked like. It was absolutely stunning and beautiful. Another feature that was pretty common in Yellowstone for geyser basins with bacterial mats is some of them actually erode the trees that are indigenous to the area. So what we have here is some stripped birch and some sandstone pillars to show where the water originally wore away at the base of the tree. And the rest of the tree I used with the acacia wood and the andesite walls to do a little variety of the trees here. So these trees are all dead because of the bacterial mat. I saw a lot of this going on in Yellowstone. It was harder to see in the winter, but it did kind of look like each of the trees was wearing a white sock. One last feature I added with the thermal feature here, and the geyser going off as well, is some pools will actually drain after the geyser goes off, which is actually really incredible to see a pool drain and fill up just like a bathtub in real time. So to mimic that, I added this redstone lever over here, so we'll see the geyser go off and we'll see it drain into the river here. There we go. Got the geyser going off. We see the drainage into the river here over the bacterial mat. And then when the geyser is done going off, 
We'll just flick that lever, and it drains. Just like that. And there you have it. Very realistic version of a geothermal feature inspired by Yellowstone. So if any of you want to use this in your builds in the future, go ahead and uh, use my inspiration. You can use this block palette and try it yourself on your own servers. So, if your friends don't find you captivating, they should at least find you crafty. And if you would excuse me, I gotta go warm up. Brrrr.